All right. Welcome, everybody. Week 12 of the budget build for the TRX4 Sport. Uh, sorry I've been out for the past couple of weeks. Had some family stuff last week, and I think the week before I didn't do anything either. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I had some good times with their family and everything. Got to eat a lot. I know I did. Um, so this week we're back. We're going to do a little simple, something y'all been asking for a while to do. So I'm going to do it. We're going to do uh, tires this week. So enjoy and get ready for we're going to do a set of the 4.75 Class 2 Max Boom Racing Hustlers. Of course, you all have seen plenty of these. I've got them. I have run these tires before. I run them on the comp truck. Uh, and it is, they are a beast of a tire. Um, we'll see how they do on this one. Uh, I don't really know how they're going to react as far as the lightness of this truck. That truck is kind of heavy. So this truck may react a little bit differently because of the weight. It does not weigh that much right now. Uh, one day it will probably weigh a little bit more, but uh, right now it does not weigh that much. So um, I thought maybe I would probably try and keep this truck light. I can I may do housings in it and that's it no brass none of that other stuff like that um, I've kind of looked into that lock, locked up come up with um, the steel portals which adds a little bit of weight but not as much as brass plus it's black and it looks really good so I might actually wind up trying to go with that <coughs> oh excuse me <coughs> so I'll try. Maybe I'll hit him up and see if he's got some. He'll let me uh, try out and for the channel and such. But um, all right, so we're gonna get to this. I'll come over here like always, and of course, most of you know how to put B locks on. Uh, I will say that I've already done these two on this side here. Uh, I will say that with the boom wheels, with the boom tires, it is. I mean, they just go right on this. They slide right on. No big deal. Easy peasy. So. Well, uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we're going to install the Boom Racing Hustlers. Of course, you see the tread pattern is deep, and this tire is so sticky. And, of course, this is a super soft. This is not the ultra soft. I do not have any ultra softs right now. Uh, so we're going to try these out. They do come with dual stage foam. As you see, it's got a hard center, hard inner and the soft outer. Um, and that's the, that's the part number there. Of course, I, I have one more set of these left on the website. So if you want to set this, they're not that expensive. Um, so don't pay attention to the bumper here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm making a bumper for somebody. And I think this is going to be the new design. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and look at this. So... This design is a little bit different as far as where it bends. It bends a little bit further out, so it kind of follows the body lines a little bit differently. Um, and of course, the new the new bumpers have. I'll take this off and show you. So the new bumper has a slot in it now, so you can adjust. It'll adjust in or out, however you decide you want to. However you decide you want to run your deal there. So. We'll, uh, we'll get to that later. Not a big deal there right now. So let's go ahead and do this. Now the downside to these boom wheels, in my opinion, the biggest problem with them to me is this stupid wheel nut tool is the craziest and uh, it's just, ugh. Everybody says use a, just use a, uh, you know, like you can use one of your Allen keys to, to get it, Allen tools to get in there. But most of the time, you don't have enough room to get it down in there to, with your tires. So, I, of course, I take a one of my pry bars from the old mechanic in days and hit it. And it just, you know, no big deal there. Pretty easy to do there. That's it on that. We'll keep that back there because I don't need to be in here can't do a whole lot of work with my right hand my thumb is breaking apart every day it seems so I can't really do a whole lot of work with my right hand I can but it hurts quite a bit so and also keep in mind today it is 40 degrees tonight out here I am of course a couple months ago I was complaining that it was too hot out here now I'm complaining that it's too cold in here so you know me I just all this complaining I do so so, 
that over there, over there, over there. And of course, I had the the locked up RC, the scale hardware, so you have to use a number two to re remove it, which is not a big deal either. Go ahead and take this apart. Take this one apart real quick. I'm only going to show you. I'm only going to video one because last video took way too long showing I did two of my thinking it was like a 25 minute video I can't do that again this time so I'll do one show you how to do it and then I'll come back and show you the finished product when we get done we'll go over some stuff too I got some news to tell you so that one out you just peel the with these classic with these boom classics they just the top of it, well, it should peel off. It's not peeling off. There it goes. So it peels off. The bottom peels off. And you get the ring out. I think these foams, I think the foams in these Traxxas tires were about, they've about had it. So, the Boom Classic is just a two-piece wheel with the center ring. No big deal, nothing too crazy. Move some of this dirt out of the way. Set up there. Put the ring inside the tire. Ooh, that ring's got some dirt in it. Let's clean that up real quick. I didn't see that. Trying to make sure, what I try and do is make sure it's kind of even as far as how it, the foams fit in the tire. Um, could, uh, you know, everybody has a different re, a different way of doing that. So, I take my CalRC Utter Butter can, canister, set it on there. This thing seems to work really well for 1.9s, so I always try and use it and it works. Just sit it down, make sure that it's even with the bead if you can. Do like that and take it and so what I do is take it and try and line up the face plate, which is not easy to do most of the time. I have some longer bolts somewhere. I don't know what I did with them. Alright, so we take you always try and get a longer bolt. The one and a half millimeter because that's what these are going to be. Try and line it up the best you can. Try and get it close. So you put some pressure on it. What I do is put pressure on two sides at least to alright so there we go on there. We got Two sides started. The idea is to try and get it. These bolts won't go all the way down into the wheel, but it'll give you enough so you can put the locked up set in it because um, they're not that long. So they'll you can start that there. At least start these three. Get them semi-tight. Then you can remove these one and a half, these uh, these longer ones here. So then we can do the other two here.
So you can just do that there. Always do a crisscross pattern. Uh, make sure you, you know, tighten them in the crisscross, just like on a real car. You do the five and you just do one, two, three, four, five. You know, that's the way to do it. Because it'll help it from stripping out either a bolt or the, the wheel itself or, you know, your tool. You know, because these, these tools or these, um, this scale hardware is very finicky. You have to be, you can't just jam on it like you can with a hex head. It just don't, it just don't play. You don't play like that. So, uh, you get it tight enough to where you, you kind of feel it with your hand that it's tight enough. That should be good enough. There we go. We got one set on. I didn't even know I had, I didn't even know I had any dirt in these wheels. Huh. So, there's one here, done, with the Boom 16-hole classic steely, and I'll be back in just a minute. And there it is. closer so you can see it and that's it probably gonna have to do some trimming there and probably more here because it will probably rub it's probably gonna rub on the top here too um, I'm usually okay with a little bit of rub uh, it's not too big of a deal not a deal breaker in my opinion um, so we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna move the camera back around we'll be back in just All a right. second so we're back with totals for week 12. We uh, spent, we had $34 left over from week 11, which was a couple of weeks ago. Rolled over. So we had $84 for this week. We spent $60 on the tires, set of Hustlers, run $30 for a pair. Uh, you get two tires, double or um, two stage foams, hard inside and soft outers. And also you get stickers and you get a sticker that goes on the tire that looks like a real tire. Um, so we spent 60, so we have $24 left over for the follow next week. Um, so we'll do that and we'll get there. Now we're getting into some news for the, for not necessarily scale news, not like Harley does. Harley does scale news every week, but we're going to do something that involves me as far as scale goes. Um, you all know about this truck. That is the new boom racing the brx01 uh, of course you know i'm a boom dealer boom racing dealer so be ready for that thing to come out it drops it's supposed to be end of the year first um first of the year somewhere in the area is the timeline so uh, be ready for that it is specially designed for the lc70 body uh, i'm sure others will fit with work but it's designed for that body it's going to tilt and everything else like that um so be ready for that. It's going to be interesting. It's a great innovation. Well, it's, it's got a few innovations in it that's a little bit different than others. Um, it's got a front motor, separated transfer case. It's going to have the the uh, help with the torque twist the way the design is. Two speed. Uh, it comes with narrow AR44 axles, so it uses AR44 gears. Of course, it comes with boom keyed gears. Uh, all the different little things like that. So more info to that more info of that when it comes out when i get more and i'm able to say i'll let you know uh be 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 watching though because there's gonna be some interesting news coming from that so uh be ready for that and as always i appreciate it guys hit the like subscribe if you like it uh it's getting a little cold around here so i'm not a whole lot sure i'll be able to do any bash videos i'm trying to get a bunch of videos of this and some other things throughout the time frame of the winter uh we don't have snow here though but it's pretty cold and it's pretty rough i know it's not as cold as most of you guys most of you guys have snow right now so um i feel sorry for y'all i hate it um i wish the sun would come back out and just not be 100 degrees <laughs> so uh so i guess we'll see um we'll see you guys next week i appreciate it thanks everybody